Welcome, I'm Dustin Goodman, Engineering Manager at This.Labs. Today we're going to be exploring five essential tips for taking full advantage of the powerful combination of Svelte and Cloudinary to create visually stunning and high-performing web applications. Together, Svelte and Cloudinary offer a streamlined framework with versatile media handling APIs, allowing you to elevate the performance and user experience of your web apps. Today, we'll be building a product grid for an e-commerce website that renders this beautiful result. As you can see, we have our products lined up in a nice grid with each product centered in frame and uniform backgrounds, giving our product catalog a great look and feel for potential customers. We'll explore how to produce this same result step-by-step, step, starting from this initial version of our site to help you create your own visually appealing, optimized, and high-performing visual experiences. To render this, just to show you where we are, I'm starting from a very simple Svelte page with a component that iterates over an array of images and renders those images using the HTML image tag. As you can see in our demo here, they're all different shapes and sizes with differing backgrounds and are framed differently so that they don't look so visually appealing to a website visitor. These images are also not optimized for the web, which can cause slow load times on inferior devices. Looking at our network tab, we can see that these images are almost one megabyte a piece. Out of the box, Svelte Cloudinary offers an automatic image optimization, which adjusts file sizes, quality, and format according to the device and browser use. This supercharges our images and strikes a perfect balance between the quality and performance for our users. To do this, first we're going to need to go to Cloudinary and upload our images, which I've done ahead of time. Now in our code, we're going to make a simple adjustment to use the Cloudinary image component from Svelte Cloudinary. And as you can see, it's very easy to set up and use. We npm installed it ahead of time just for the sake of this demo. But as you can see, we just set the width, we set the height, the source of our image, and gave it an alt tag as well to make sure that our images remain accessible. Now when we go back to our demo and look at our network tab, we'll be able to see, and we'll clear out our network tab first just to make it a little cleaner. Now when we look at it, what we see is our images are significantly smaller. We're talking kilobytes instead of megabytes now. And we can see our images have shrunk in size significantly while still looking good on screen. This is going to help our site's performance while keeping the quality of our images high. This is especially important on mobile devices that have slower connections. The opportunity for site improvement is endless with any media you might be showcasing, and Cloudinary with Svelte will get you there. But as you can see, our images still aren't in a uniform grid or looking the same. This is where Svelte Cloudinary's dynamic transformations come in. It supports crop, resize, and many other operations powered by URL parameters. The same parameters that power all of Cloudinary's media APIs, but integrated seamlessly into an easy-to-use Svelte component. So if we jump over here and look at the code, what we're going to see here is I'm going to adjust the height, and I'm also going to ask Svelte Cloudinary to crop our image to fit the space we're assigning it to. So now when we come over back to our demo and take a look, we could now see, and we could shrink our network tab here for the sake of this, um, that all of our images now have the same space, uh, same alignment. With this change, we can see all our images are now beautifully aligned in a grid, but more importantly, our images aspect ratios are maintained, giving a consistent image presentation despite the original dimensions. This gives our layout lots of uniformity and looks fantastic. We still have a few problems though. We can see the necklace and the earbuds are off screen. Also, the earbuds don't have the same background as the other images. But before we move on, I do want to quickly demo that on mobile devices as well, the same aspect ratios are going to be maintained and Svelte Cloudinary can handle all that dynamicism for us without us having to do any additional work. As we could see, as we resize, Svelte Cloudinary is handling all of the amazing image formulation that we want to make sure that our images always look consistent across devices. This is super powerful and super amazing. So to fix this next problem, we're going to start looking into using AI-driven processing. Svelte Cloudinary can go beyond simple edits and solve these problems for us using these techniques. It can accomplish tasks like subject recognition, color adjustments, fill, replace, and even removing parts of an image. This helps us ensure our images look outstanding no matter where or how they're displayed. So again, coming back to our code, we're going to jump ahead and we're going to make some pretty significant changes this time. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the effects and fill background options 
provided by Cloud Image to address this problem. Build Background is a beta feature that leverages AI to fill your images to fill in any blanks in sizing when using specific cropping. So if you crop your image a certain way, but you need it to fill a certain space, it'll use AI image recognition to try to fill in what it thinks that space should look like. We'll combine this with the effects that allow you to apply your own filters like Instagram. Here we're just using the auto contrast to resolve our issues, but telling Cloudinary we want to increase the image subject vibrance so it stands out. And we use the improve prop to try and improve any color issues that may arise as well. If we jump over to our demo now, we could see with the combination of all of these AI enhancements, we could see the quality of these images improving, especially now with the subject centered across the displays. And this extends to additional display sizes. One other thing we did as well is we used effects to give the headphones a gray background to try and match the other images. We're, we see this doesn't look super great yet, and that's okay because we're gonna make this look even better a little later down the line. Now that our images are looking much better, this is fantastic, but this is an e-commerce store, so we wanna highlight new products or active sales to our customers. And this is where Cloudinary Salt's overlays can provide additional context-based info on your images. With Cloudinary Image, this can be achieved with ease. Plus, we can customize the appearance, the font, color, size, weight, background, and more. So in this case, what we're gonna do, coming back to our code again, is we're going to just pass in the overlay prop to our cloud image. But we're also gonna make another change. And inside of our page, what we've done is we've set the overlay property on each of our images. And in this case, what we said is let's add some text and given it its properties, position, given it, told it where we want it within the frame of the image. And then we've also specified the effects that we want to apply to that image so it looks super nice. Now, what's amazing with these overlays, A, they look great on the image, but more importantly, if we go actually inspect these elements, what we can actually see is that the overlays are a part of our image and not an additional HTML element. So now you don't have to ship all the additional CSS you might have needed to build your own dynamic overlays and worry about the positioning rules, especially as you're resizing images for different screens. The image just knows where to place the elements and you get going. This leaves us with our last problem, the gray background. Like I mentioned, the headphone isn't really working for us because it doesn't have that brick feel that the other backgrounds have. And I don't know about you, but this feels like a distraction to me. The great news is Felt Cloudinary can handle this too and seamlessly remove the pesky background for the final professional touch. A quick disclaimer, to enable this, you'll need to get the add-on via your Cloudinary dashboard, but that's okay. With this feature, you can also do additional customizations to your image, like alternate backgrounds using the background prop by passing it a color, or you can use the underlay prop to add an image of your choosing and really make your images come to life. For our store, we want everything on a solid like background for consistency. So let's do that. What we're gonna do is if we jump back to our code here, we're gonna go back to actually our component. And all we've done here is we've said, remove background and set it to white. And what that's done, uh, and you kind of saw a sneak peek as I was switching over, is that removed all the backgrounds. And now what we can now see is that it, seamlessly handled that and made everything look phenomenal. So we get exactly that. Our products stand out more and fit far better into this minimalistic aesthetic of this store, giving us the desired final look we want to deliver to our customers with images centered, overlays present, and everything just looking really nice. Now you know what you're shopping for. And there you have it. We've seen how Svelte and Cloudinary can optimize your images, contributing to significant website performance boosts and more engaging user experiences. For more details on the installation processes or a quick look into applying custom transformations, check out the description below for Cloudinary's Dev Hints videos and links to the resources found in this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more useful tips and tricks from this dot. This program is presented by This.Labs, the framework agnostic consulting firm helping enterprises realize their technical goals through staff augmentation, consulting, project management, on-demand subject experts, training, and other professional services. Find out more at this.labs.com.